Welcome back to the Gray Love 60 channel, everybody. Today is the day that I announce to you, my viewers, that uh, I've left China. And uh, uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to be back. Uh, we came back because, well, everybody knows that uh, Wei Feng has some medical problems and whatever. I'm not going to get into that today. Uh, but she, she has tests and doctor's appointments and, and whatever. And uh, she feels more comfortable here in Canada dealing with it than she does in, in China. I think it's because they treat you better here in Canada as far as uh, being, being nice. They're nice here. In, in, in China, there's so many people that uh, you're basically a number and uh, you just go through the, the motions over there. So uh, putting that behind us, you're going to see a lot of studio stuff for me for for the next while and uh, i'm uh, i'm going to be doing more on twitter yes because twitter is more of an open forum for the political rhetoric that i that well you know i i do my political rants and and whatever uh, it's it's not a secret that i'm very pro china also i uh, just started a TikTok channel. So we're going to see how that is going to go in the in the future. But uh, I want everybody to go over to both my Twitter and I'll put the description below. Maybe I'll even put it al along the, the, the bottom of the screen here for a while. So sort of like prompt you to go to these, subscribe, um, you know, get get my numbers up enough that it's that it's worth it for me to 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 do this, it's uh, it's all time consuming. It all takes a, you know a, a very uh, long time to not only set up but do the videos, do the shorts, do the rants, do you know the stuff I do, and it, and it gets expensive too. This mic here costs I think five hundred and fifty bucks, and then the boom costs uh, another hundred and some bucks. The camera I'm on a ZV1 now. It's better for for doing stuff in a studio. And uh, that was, I think, eleven hundred and fifty bucks. You know, so it's a the, it's an expensive hobby that I have, but I have fun doing it. So I want to expand it while I'm while I'm in Canada. I'm on Vancouver Island, in a in a little city of a hundred thousand people called Nanaimo. It is beautiful out there. I do have another YouTube channel. I, I and I started it out Nanaimo now because. Uh, it, like they've got Prince Albert now and Nanaimo now, news now and stuff. And I, I thought, well, you know, I'd, I'd sort of uh, play off that a little bit. But uh, it, the videos that I was doing were not about Nanaimo as much as they were about the entire country of Canada. So I, uh, I, I called it Canadian uns, un, Uncensored. Canadian Uncensored. And uh, it's uh, not a chi not a playoff China uncensored. It's the idea that I'm a Canadian and I'm uncensored, and I'll tell you exactly what I think about all of the things that are going on in Canada. You see, I bugger off to China on a on a regular base, or or Japan, or Thailand, or Malaysia, or Singapore. Or, you know, I I travel a fair bit, and uh, I've always done that. And uh, when I'm gone for a year, I come back to Canada and I go, holy shit, man, there's a thousand homeless people on the streets of Nanaimo and there's only a hundred thousand people in the city. Okay, well, you, you, you look at uh, the, the government freezing bank accounts and arresting people and holy smokes, geez, uh, it, like it, it changes so quick. So I figured I'd set up a channel like that, that, that uh, and it's, I think it's got 23 or 22 or 23 hundred subscribers now. So go over there and, and hit the subscribe button on that one too. But uh, while, while I'm in Canada, I'm going to be uh, dealing with uh, geopolitical stuff, dealing with Canada, the United States, uh, the hate-love relationship, how uh, I think the next one I'm, I'm putting out Next Friday, this one will go out before the next Friday one. You're gonna love it. It's uh, it's all about uh, uh, presidents gone wild. It's and it's it's uh, basically the 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 criminality, the the sexual escapades of the presidents over the last little while. You know, from the Stormy Daniels to Joe Biden wanting to kiss little kids to, and you, and you got to understand that running a country like the United States, the largest economy in the world, 
and you've got these weirdos running it like is this a prerequisite but uh, you know so it's it's not just about china it's uh, it's it's about the rest of the world and how they work their systems also and uh, i think i think uh, it's a little bit of a transition from what i'm used to doing on the streets of Nanning, on the streets of Thailand, or on the streets of Malaysia, or, you know, I've, I've been around so many different places, from Xinjiang Autonomous Region to uh, the Shanghai Tower to the, to the East China Sea to the South China Sea to, oh man, uh, but rest assured, I will be back there. I have bank accounts, I have friends, I have family, I have, uh, uh, I have an actual home that I own in China. So, you know, this is, this is just a small hiccup and, and uh, we'll be back in, in China uh, hopefully fairly soon. But uh, un until that time, let's, let's, uh, let's do the Twitter thing, let's do the TikTok thing, let's do the, the Canadian uncensored thing, uh, we'll do the Guelo 60 thing on this channel and uh, we'll just uh, make the best of it and, and I hope you guys support me because uh, I, I do this not just for fun for myself but to try to inform you about what I think about the whole geopolitical China versus the world or not the world but the, the G7, uh, the, the Americans, the Brits, uh, all of those colonial turds that are out there thinking that uh, they have to be number one, and if they're not, they're going to make it hard on China. Uh, they're going to try to put them in their place. They're going to try to uh, segregate them from the rest of the world. They're going to demonize them in the eyes of everybody out there. But I think a lot of the countries out there are starting to see through it. I see the African countries for sure starting to see through it. A lot of the Southeast Asian countries already know how that group of colonial countries thinks and yes Canada is one of those countries that that is that colonial mindset and uh, yeah so uh, there's less and less people listening to the rhetoric that comes out of the Western world that tries to demonize the Chinese people the Chinese government the the whole the whole country as a one but it gets it gets worse than that because uh, all Asian people sort of get grouped into one group. Uh, they don't know whether you're, you're Japanese, Korean, Indonesian, Chinese, Filipino, it doesn't matter. Uh, they just see Chinese, they see Asian, and uh, right away you're one of the bad guys if, 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 uh, if they label you as that. And uh, we're trying to at this channel, the Guaylao 60 channel, I try to show you the real stuff, the, the truth when I'm on the streets of, of, of China or any other country that, that I'm on. And uh, it, you know, showing, showing you the truth helps you make up your own mind about what that country is like, what the people are like, what the government's like. Uh, when you have 800 million people being brought out of, uh, out of poverty, you've got to understand that uh, it takes a good government, a government that cares, to do that for their people. When you uh, get high-rises and high-speed trains and good roads and hospitals being built and, and universities, uh, top universities too, top universities in the world, being built in, uh, in China, a country that not 50 years or 40 years ago was basically a farming country, an, an agricultural country, many, many poor people, uh, very dirt poor uh, people. Now everybody has, you know, their eye on the future, getting a better life, getting a better education. The children's lives are better than the parents' lives and their parents' lives are better than the grandparents' lives. So they're moving in a positive direction. Can you say that about your country today? Uh, there's very few countries out there that can actually say that. Uh, does China have hiccups every once in a while? Uh, of course they do. But uh, any country with 1.4 billion people will have problems every once in a while. But the difference between the West and the East is that the Chinese people fix those, those problems. They find solutions for those problems. And uh, then they uh, put their heads down, they fix it, lift up their heads and move on. We don't do that in the West. So anyway, that's an update from uh, Guilao60 on where I'm at. Look at my Twitter. 
go to TikTok. The TikTok is brand spanking new. So I'm going to need a lot of help on that one. The, the Twitter, I think it's got 4,000, or do I call it X now? I don't know. How can you, how can you screw up any more than that, Elon? But uh, I think it's got 41 or 4,200 subscribers on it right now. I'd like to see that thing over 10,000 and uh, it, uh, it'll get there. It'll get there. I know it will. But, uh, and on this channel, like, comment, subscribe. Canadian Uncensored, like, comment, subscribe. Guaylao60, TikTok, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, Twitter, do the same thing. And thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out. Bye now. Ooh. Somebody said that my wine looks like whiskey. It's not. It's a, it's a, a white wine that I made myself. And it is, oh, scrump delicious. It's one of my hobbies when I'm in Canada. I make carboy after carboy of wine. I, don't, I usually don't drink much beer when I'm in Canada. Um, just, just the wine, because in Canada, it is so damn expensive. Everything is expensive here in Canada. And uh, I'll probably make a, a video about that, just to, you know, as I did, comparing the prices on the streets of uh, of Nanning in the wet markets of Nanning as compared to what you were paying in the grocery stores maybe I'll go to the grocery store and show you how expensive it is to buy three dollars and ninety nine cents a pound that's less than a jing for peaches so that's uh, 20 some RMB per pound for peaches yeah if you're in Nanning Put a comment in the se section below, in the description below. Uh, let me know how much you're paying for peaches in uh, in Nanning or any anywhere around the world. I'm pretty sure that uh, Canada is probably one of the most expensive places for for fruit and vegetables and such. Uh, we're cold. They say global warming. I call bullshit. It's it's uh, August first today, and. Uh, I don't think we've had anything over 21 or 22 degrees Celsius all summer long. Like, I'm waiting for that global warming to hit Vancouver Island. It's just not going to happen, guys. Like, what's going on? Anyway, as I said, like, comment, subscribe on the channels. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye now.